This video is to help you understand how to manage your content scheduling. We'll do this by example. We'll look at this first piece of content and let's take a look at how we can manipulate the scheduling. Put a check mark next to that content. Click on attributes. Here you have a, a range of items you can control. You can have it play on specific days. For example, if I only want the weekends, I will uncheck Monday through Friday, leaving Saturday and Sunday on. If it is a weekday event, leave all those on and select Sunday and Saturday. Or it could be Monday, Wednesday and Friday on, and so on and so forth. And then I would hit OK. Additionally, you can schedule a range of time. To do that, we'll go to Valid Range, click Yes. Now you could tell the display to start on a specific day and end on a specific day. Here you click on the calendar. Today actually happens to be the 17th, but I would like the, the content to start possibly maybe on the 25th and end on the 30th. I hit OK. You'll notice the notation here as well. I will click on Save that will take effect on your display. This line item will not start displaying until June 25th and it'll play through June 30th. Let's do that again. Let's take a look at this piece of content right here. Put a check mark, attribute, I'd like to do a range. By clicking now it kind of reverts to defaults, today's date, and clear there and make it permanent. That means it'll start today and it'll go permanently until you decide to remove it from your playlist. But let's add a date. I would like this piece of content to start on the 19th or even maybe uh, let's try it later in the future, possibly September. You could actually go 10 years in advance. So let's say uh, we want September and it will be Saturday the 3rd. I'll click the valid end to September Sunday the 4th. Hit OK. You'll see that notation. All I have to do now is hit save and we're done. Feel free to contact us with any questions and always by navigating here to the contact button you'll see the training videos to this and other very helpful videos on how to manage your content. Thank you for watching.